Association President Mary Tory says there were at least 40 tourist-related crimes recorded in 2011. Last uh, six months has really doubled the number where we were last year. Um, and so it's very concerning, but at the same time, we're doing something about it to protect Guam and the tourism community because it is our bread and butter. The island's largest revenue source for months was threatened after a notice to Japanese tourists warned that the island is not 100 percent safe. To fix the bad image, GHRA, GVB and Guam police are enhancing enforcement efforts with Operation Blue Wave. Tumont Precinct Commander Lieutenant Ron Titano. Certain areas were just repeatedly being affected by robberies. Um, so, like I said, one of the strategies is to pinpoint that, focus it, and saturate those areas with police officers, police reserves. Blue Wave is, is it's actually a, it's a tourist-oriented uh, policing strategy uh, designed to protect the interests of tourism in the Tumont Muni area. The operation promises more roving and foot patrols in the tourist district. It's not just for our off-island visitors, it's to our local population that comes into the Tumuni Tumon area to patronize the businesses as well. So it's just to ensure that when you come into this area, Tumuni Tumon, you can feel safe. Tory says they are also working with private businesses to revive and expand the CAT Crimes Against Tumon Tourists radio system in the hotels, as well as fix the camera systems as only one camera in Tumon is operable. But together with GPD, um, they're going to be donating 36 radios to GHRA so that we can continue to serve um, and get all of those radios out to other hotels to ensure that we are 100% um, covered. We're looking to um, replace those security cameras that we used to have in Tumon. The funding for the effort also comes from the annual Governor's Cup Golf Tournament, which will be held in November. Both Tory and Lieutenant Titano encourage anyone in the community who may want to volunteer and become a part of Blue Wave to join in an effort to protect the island's number one industry.